Hey guys, Isaac from Undeniable, back with another sort of protein, low calorie snack review. Uh, hopefully having an awesome Friday, maybe pick up a couple of these uh, on the way back and sort of have a nice little low calorie dessert. So these are the FroPro singles. Uh, we've done uh, FroPro before, they're really good. These are like, this is almost dairy free. Uh, they're not called dairy free, they're called plant based. Uh, because I'm pretty sure they're made, I was having a little read before, but basically I'm pretty sure they're made in a place with like milk and stuff like that, so they can't call it um, dairy free, because uh, it might have like traces of dairy in it. But if we go over the stats on the back here, you're looking at 160 calories per serve, so per like little magnum bar that you have. One gram of protein, so we're obviously we're not here for the protein. You got 12 grams of fat, which is quite a lot, and 12 grams of carbohydrates. So. This is definitely not gonna win any awards for hitting your sort of macros, but um, pretty much all these sort of options, these low calorie, like around 150 mark calorie desserts are, in my opinion at least, very good for your <laughs> mental state when on a diet. So um, having just one of these like little like icy bowls or something like that after dinner um, gives you a little reward. It doesn't cost you very many calories and at the end of the day, whenever you're dieting or bulking or whatever you're doing, you've got to make sure you can stick on it for the rest of your life. It's not for eight weeks. Uh, it's not for 12 weeks. It's for the rest of your life. So, um, you know, obviously they can be for eight weeks and 12 week periods, all that kind of stuff, but you've got to get an actual diet that you're going to have for a long period of time, something that's sustainable. Uh, and, you know, eating, you know, rice, broccoli and chicken, for the rest of your life is probably not, well, it's not sustainable for me. So it's boring. It's sort of tastes like shit. So let's um, get into it. What flavor is this? A oh, classic vanilla. Okay, cool. All right. We did one of these before and I was hoping that they had like the chocolate crust, but it didn't. Oh, okay. All these do. Boom! For 160 calories, I'm already happy. I think it's quite large. Uh, it's probably like like 75% of like an actual magnum. Like a magnum is probably a little bit thicker. So very happy with the volume of ice cream that I'm getting for 160 calories. Definitely a dark chocolate on the outside. That's good. Good dark chocolate. Okay. Very yum. You wouldn't know this is 160 calories. That dark chocolate's like not super dark. It's probably like a couple sort of I don't know, like shades sort of darker. Uh, than like milk chocolate, I guess. So it's still got a fair bit of sweetness to it, but uh, you can definitely taste the dark chocolate to it. And it's a little bit oh, super, super minor, like graininess to it. The inside, like the vanilla stuff, is like not dense sort of ice cream at all. It's like sort of fairy floss kind of thing. It's like very, very, very... Um, light, I guess. Okay. I try to get this without the bloody chocolate. Hmm. Tastes a little bit like coconutty. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a little bit of coconut cream and stuff in it, so it's nice. It is, it's really like like creamy. <clears throat> it's definitely not like a thick, uh, if you like think of a Magnum ice cream, uh, you can sort of suck on that, like uh, the white sort of vanilla ice cream for ages. This stuff is sort of gonna dissolve sort of straight away, sort of a bit like fairy floss sort of thing. You know how you put it in straight away, it sort of dissolves. It's not that sort of extreme, but um, if you could imagine like, like a vanilla ice cream, being like that, that's what it's like. Still very nice. Like it seems like it's like coconut base. 
uh, so it's sort of creamy and stuff like that. But it's definitely, uh, definitely not as ice creamy as like you'd sort of imagine it in general. But with that being said, this is super, super nice. Uh, I think they're very generous with the chocolate coating on the outside. I think the chocolate coating is very nice. I think for 160 calories, I think this is a super big win. Uh, if you're on a diet and you want to have something naughty, um, this is definitely going to fill that slot. Uh, very, very good. Uh, can't really say anything negative. Obviously, you got a fair bit of fat there, actually. I'm pretty sure it's got, yeah, 12 grams of fat. So you're going to have to leave a substantial amount of fat, especially if you're dieting, to eat something like this. That's probably the only negative. It's going to be a little bit hard to fit in. Uh, but for it being like plant-based, almost dairy-free, um, yeah, very, very good. Could not put any complaints in about that. So, uh, and I just love that they've done the outside job a little bit. So, uh, rating for this is going to have to be, I think it's going to be, be an eight because I think it's a very good option for only 160 calories. Uh, the thing that would probably let it down the most is the middle sort of creamy bit is not sort of like your generic, even though it's not supposed to be ice cream, you know, it's, it is in a sense. Um, so it's like a very small let down there. And then the other thing I'd say is just the huge amount of fat, which is 12 for that 160 cals, leaving 12 grams of fat at the end of the day for someone that's dieting, uh, especially if uh, like it's a small female or something like that, uh, could be extremely hard and uh, you'd yeah, probably really struggle and wouldn't be recommended to have something like this at the end of your day. So. Uh, that's it for today guys, definitely check them out. That's the Fro Pro, this is the plant-based classic vanilla flavor. Um, yeah, very happy with it guys. Uh, I think it's just awesome that they made like a sort of Magnum look-alike kind of thing for 160 cals, it's sick. Thanks for watching guys, we've got a couple more of these, not the plant-based. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, see you on the weekend.